Well, the airplane was uh, probably the best fighter of World War I. It was the only airplane named in the armistice that had to be you know, released to the Allies. And, uh, they brought them over to the States for, for testing and evaluation. And uh, it was designed in 1918 by Reinhold Plotz. Uh, he worked for Fokker. And uh, it was a very good airplane. The, uh, the uh, low speed characteristics of it are, are very good, uh, very stable. It's a very forgiving airplane. And uh, it's got an original Mercedes uh, D3 engine in it. Well, uh, this particular airplane, um, because it is a home built, uh, the ailerons are pretty stiff and they're not very uh, effective. Uh, I think the original airplanes were a lot, had a lot better rate of roll. Uh, I was never, uh, never tried to roll the airplane. I was just afraid it'd probably run out of aileron at the wrong time. But it does a nice loop. Cole built the airplane, and uh, it's pretty accurate. Uh, and unfortunately, Cole had a stroke, and uh, it was the only airplane that Cole built that he didn't test fly. So uh, I got to test fly it and, uh, that summer, and then that winter, Cole went to Florida and he passed away. When I first flew it, we didn't have a steerable skid on the tail skid, and uh, they, it did have a ground loop tendency. So we put a, a steerable shoe, which is hooked it to the rudder, and uh, it, it, there's no controllability problems on the ground at all. So all-around good airplane.